I'm Siobhan and this is my channel, Crazy Cochise. On my channel I explain different types of tack and how to use them. Today I'm going to, uh, going to be explaining the different types of horse brushes. First off I'm going to start with the curry combs. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is a type of curry comb. It has hard rubber, hard rubber spikes like that. And uh, yeah, it also has a handle piece over here. This one's really great for long-haired horses because it picks up all of that hair that they're shedding. Yeah, this is also really good for that mud that gets stuck into your horse's coat or any type of glitter or uh, paint, body paint that you've used on your horse. The second brush I have here is my flower curry comb. This one I've just tried recently and it is overall my favorite because it's very light on your horse's coat, so if you do have a horse with a very thin coat, it won't hurt them or irritate them. Plus, it has very a, a very cute design. You get ones in other shapes, and yeah, different colors, and they are very fun. Plus, they're very easy to clean because they are rubber. The next one I have here is this basic. It's just a basic curry comb. This one's also very good. Um, it's not so great for horses with, sh with long coats because the spikes are very shallow so it doesn't get into the coat as well as other brushes do. I like the fact that it has a handle at the back and it's very smooth and yeah. This is an overall great brush but I wouldn't advise this if your horse I wouldn't advise this for you if your horse has a long coat or yeah. This one gets out some of the mud but I find it doesn't work as well as the first one I showed. Now I'm going to go into my hard brush. This is my favorite hard brush. As you can see, it's been used pretty well. This is just a regular dandy brush or hard brush. It is pretty hard, so when you do use it, it gets off all that dirt and stuff. I wouldn't advise for going something that's too hard like the Equine Series brushes because they are very harsh on your horse's uh, fur coat unless they have a thing if they, unless they have a hard coat. If they have a very thick coat, I would advise going for a harder brush. If they have a thinner coat, I would advise going for something lighter like this. Yeah. And then I have my soft brush. This is my soft brush. This is horse hair. And yeah, it's one of the best um, soft brushes I've tried yet. And the best part about your hard brush and your soft brush is you can sand them down and customize, uh, customize them. This one is made for one of my mares, and yeah. Comment down below if you want to make if you want me to make a video on how I made my custom brushes. So okay, I'm gonna move on to my face brush. This is my face brush. It is very soft. I would. I wouldn't never use a hard brush or a soft brush on your horse's face because if your horse does have some sort of um, bacteria in its coat, it can spread it to its eyes and its nose and around its face. So I would have a separate brush for your horse's face. So this is mine. This one is from Tail Tamers and it is the best one yet because it's not super small but it's still very soft and it has a fun pattern in it. Then with your uh, horse's mane and tail, you can just use a normal hairbrush or this one. This one is another tame ta um, tail, ta tail tamer's um, horse brush. I like this one because if you look closely, it has very squiggly and colorful. Um, yeah, it's very squiggly and colorful. So yeah, and then you can get a normal hoof pick. You also get hoof picks with the brush at the back, or you get ones without the brush. I prefer the ones with the brush because it helps you get all that mud out of there. Plus, this one has a cute horse design on the bottom. This one also has a very good, has very good grooves over there, so you can have a comfortable grip. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the ones with the brushes is most of the time they have a very poorly constructed um, metal pick part. It's not as smooth and rounded it's pretty yeah so then another thing for your horse's mane is this this is just a regular comb this one is yeah it's just an oysters equine care series 
and this is one of the best ones I've tried yet. It's very hard and it's great. It's really good for picking out burrs out of your horse's mane or anything like that. And then I saved the best for last. This is another curry comb, but this is over all my favorite brush. I use this one the most and I even use this one for my horse's face because it's very soft. This one is very, very soft. It's a jelly curry comb and it has a hard part at the back for your horse's body and then has a soft part over here for your horse's face. This is overall one of my favorite uh, brushes because it's also, you can also put your hand through it and yeah, it's a very comfortable brush and it's very, very soft and it's, yeah, it's a jelly curry comb. This is, what, this is my mare's favorite brush. Yeah, so. I'm gonna grab some brushes that I would definitely not advise using. There is this one. This one was some weird type of grooming curry. It didn't work at all. It's, yeah, it's very weird looking. It looks like an alien and it doesn't work at all. It was, a, it was supposedly an equine massage brush, but I just found it very uncomfortable on the horse's skin and I just didn't like how poorly constructed it was. It's very hard and it's very rough to use. Yeah. The next one I have is, this one isn't so much that I don't like it, it's that I would not give this to a beginner rider to use. I only use this because I've been riding for six years now and I know how to use it correctly otherwise I, you can't catch a horse with it. This one is the Tuscan this is the Tuscan Equine brush and this is just this is just a blade over here similar to a saw's blade you never want to use it like this on your horse you always want to go with the grain of the hair because if you do go like this it'll cut your horse. You can even feel it gently on your fingers and feel which direction you should be going. You should be going like this and never like this. Otherwise, it can cut your horse open. I definitely wouldn't advise this unless you have been riding for many years or you have adult supervision with using this. This one is great, though, if you do have a horse that has a thick coat and they're shedding. I use this one on almost all my horses when they're shedding. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, this is a great brush. It just can't fall into the wrong hands. Thank you for watching my video. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video. In the comment section, please leave ideas for future videos. And yeah. Thank you for watching.